What is NVIDIA AI Video Generator? Everything you need to know. NVIDIA has recently released its new AI video generator and it is absolutely amazing. But what is it exactly? How does it work? And who is supposed to use it? In this video, I will answer all of these questions. So if you want to follow along this tutorial, click the link down below for a free account. Now, the first thing we need to understand what InVideo exactly is. So InVideo is just a AI tool. InVideo AI is now a AI tool that allows you to create videos from scratch without having to put in any kind of other information other than the basic prompt. It does everything else for you. It sets the entire duration, voiceover, script, all of that is done for you. All you have to basically do is provide a topic. Now you can create multiple different types of videos within video AI, top five videos, explainer videos, educational content, reels or shorts, motivational videos. Those kinds of things can easily be created within video AI. But some of the top niches that I recommend that work the best with InVideo AI are money, travel, motivation, love, success, exercise, fitness, and business as well. The reason for that being is there's a lot of stock media content or stock footage that is easily applicable on these products and there's a lot of information readily available that can help in building topics and building videos on these particular niches. Now. The first thing in InVideo AI is the first and only thing you have to do is provide a prompt. So this is InVideo AI and you can get started with the link provided in the description box down below to get a free sign up on InVideo. Now there is the notion that if you're on InVideo then you don't need to even put in like a very accurate prompt. This is something you need to understand. InVideo is going to do all of the hard work for you. The only hard work that you have to do is provide it with a detailed prompt. So when it says give me a topic and detailed instructions, you want to put in as detailed of a prompt as possible. I'll show you guys some of the key elements that you have to include in a prompt. So I have this prompt ready over here and I'll just copy and paste it and I'll break it down for you guys on how to build these kinds of prompts. So one thing you have to make sure is that whenever you write a prompt or a topic, the first thing you want to mention is the duration of the video. So I want it to be one minute. If I want it to be five minutes, I can write five motivational video that inspires viewers to overcome obstacles and achieve their goals. Now there's one thing missing in this. You always mention the platform you're building this video for. I want to build this for YouTube. So make sure that you're mentioning the platform and the duration of the video. Now after you've set up your basic topic, this is your basic topic which is a motivational video, I've added a description of the key points that I want to include. So a combination of stock footage clips that should have determination, resilience, and triumph in various aspects of life. Now I also have wanted to include motivational quotes and phrases that will reinforce my topic. Now, another very, very essential thing is music. So I've added energetic background music to intensify the motivational impact, ensure seamless transitions, and conclude the video with a strong call to action, encouraging the viewers to take action. The video should leave viewers feeling empowered and ready to tackle their challenges head on. Use a heavy American male voice. So in this, I've provided it with details on the overall framework of the video. I've provided the duration and the platform. Then you also want to include the tone of your video. So I want the tone to be motivational. Then I also want a heavy American male voice. Now with your voiceover or with the particular type of voiceover that you want, you also want to add what type of language or vocabulary you want to use. You also want to make sure that you're adding things such as the pace. So if you want this person to speak very fast, very slow, or in a dynamic manner, that is also something you should mention. So I want the voice to be dynamic and fast, and I want to use easy to understand words. Now, once you've put in your prompt, this is going to be the most difficult part of your entire video generating process. You just want to click on generate a video. Now, this will generate a video for you, and we're just going to wait 
for it to complete its processing it's going to ask you a couple of more questions whenever you generate this kind of video so it's going to ask you some refining questions which are usually related to the tone of the video as well as the audience that you're looking to target so your audience might be educational it might be for teens it might be for zen audiences so it really depends on the niche that you're targeting and you can even regenerate videos on the same prompt and have a different audience using the same prompt. Now you guys can see these are our refining questions. So I want the audience to be young adults. I want their look and feel to be inspiring. And then the platform is YouTube. We also have other options like entrepreneurs and the look and feel should be epic. And I want this for YouTube. So you can change this as well, but I'm gonna go with young adults and a epic feel. And I'm gonna click on continue over here. And now InVideo AI is generating my entire video for me. You don't have to do anything at all. So this is just one example of a motivational video. You can target any niche and any type of content you want. Listicles are a great way that you can actually start building faceless YouTube content and start building YouTube content that is easy, effective, and can get done in like 10 to 15 minutes. You could build your entire video. So our video has been generated. Let's do a quick preview of what the AI has generated for us. It's about so you guys can see that this video is pretty amazing. It's pretty fantastic. I really like the introductory parts, especially how they've built a simple story about perseverance, how they're using the story of Tom Edison to show that, you know, extraordinary things can happen. The tone is fantastically communicated and it really is giving the motivational appeal to work hard and, you know, start working and following along these tips. Now, this is a great example video, but if you're not satisfied with the type of video that the AI has generated for you, and you might want to change the audience of your video, you don't like this kind of tone maybe, then you can simply click on regenerate on the bottom left you'll find this option you're going to click on regenerate once you click on regenerate let's say i want the look and feel to be inspiring and i want to target entrepreneurs this time now i'm going to click on continue and then in video will generate a alternate video based on the same prompt that we already put in simply changing the mood or feel as well as the target audience so I've generated a alternate video over here and you can do this with your video as well. So we have two alternating videos now. Now with your alternate videos, you don't necessarily have to just only be able to edit using a regenerate command. I'll show you guys exactly how you can edit your in-video videos. So as you guys can see, this is our first video and I just played around with it. So I've changed the video a bit but this is our original video. Now I can easily edit the script or the visual elements of this video in two separate ways. So the first thing you have to do to begin editing your video is you're gonna click on edit on the bottom right of your preview. Once you click on edit, you can click on edit media. Once you click on edit media, you will see all of the visual elements that have been used on the top. So once you see all of the visual elements, there's this arrow sign that you can click on to move further along and you will see all of the visuals that have been used. Now, let's say there is a particular visual element or scene that I don't like. So let's say I find the initial scene to be a bit repetitive and I want to change that. So to do that, I simply have to click on the scene that I want to change and I can scroll down and you will see that there is a search bar. You can search for any type of item that you want. So let's say I just want something relaxing. So let's say I want to take this video and all I have to do is simply click on replace over here. And then our new visual element or video will be added or new scene will be added. Now, if I want to do this with any other scene, I can click on it and I can click on replace. And just like that, our video has been changed. Now, all you have to do is click on apply on the bottom right and our changes will now be applied. So let's wait a couple of seconds for our changes to be applied. Now, let's take a look at our changes. So you guys can see now our video elements have been changed. Now, we can also change our script very easily. 
you're going to do the same steps. So simply click on edit on the bottom right. Then you're going to click on edit script. Now over here, you're going to find all of your scripts and you will also find the chapters that your video has been divided in or the sections. So let's say I want to remove the intro and I want to add, I want to start add mindful and healthy living like this. Now, after that, let's say I want to remove this section as well. And maybe I want to remove this as well. And now once I've removed or add, I've also added any part. So if I want to add something, I might want to add like this. So I've added my own line as well. And then I can simply click on apply changes on the bottom right. And just like that, the InVideo AI is processing my script change. And now it's going to change the voiceover, the subtitles accordingly, as well as the scenes. So it will match the scenes to my new script. And that's why it takes a little bit of time for the script to be changed because it not only has to change the script, it's changing the voiceover, the AI generated subtitles as well. And there is even a far better feature or a far unique feature that i'm going to show you guys in this video which is going to make editing your videos so much more easier now let's take a look at our video now so you guys can see that it changed our script now these are just some basic editing tools there's a really unique feature on InVideo ai which is your command feature so if you click on edit on your bottom right and you will see this box this text box pop up this text box basically allows you that you can put in any kind of command that you want and the InVideo AI will process your command. So all you're doing is putting in a verbal command and it is going to process it and then make those changes. For example, I want it to delete the first scene. So I want it to delete the first scene and move the second scene after the third. So in this way, it will actually change the scenes and it will actually move around the scenes. I don't actually have to go into the edit script, edit the video, and then have to mash the script and mash the video. I can simply put in this command and InVideo AI will process my request for me. You can do this for any kind of edit. You can edit your voiceover, the tone of your voiceover. You can edit the music as well. You can change media in a particular scene. So you guys can see. So you guys can see that it deleted our first scene. Now, let's say I also want to uh, change the media at the end. So let's say I wanted to maybe change something at the end. So I wanted to maybe include a clip of a person in a jungle at the end. So I'll give it the prompt. So add a clip of a person in a jungle at the end instead of the current media. And now it's alternating our last media clip. You can also direct it to any particular scene that you want. Or if you want to start with a more scenic view, if you're doing listicles, these kinds of commands can be super helpful in building the kind of backgrounds that you want. So you guys can see. So you guys can see this is a clip of a person in a jungle that has been added. Now you can provide more detailed commands and your results will be as accurate as your command. So let's say I wanted to, so I want to start the video with a cynic shot of the sea and now it's processing my request. So you guys can see it added the scenic shot uh, intro or the scenic shot in the script, but it didn't add it in the media. So I will specify for this to add it in the media and then it will add it, add a scenic shot in the media as well. So this is one thing to keep in mind whenever you're using these kinds of prompts. That's why I showed you guys how you can break down prompts and how you should provide details. Now, once you're satisfied with the overall appearance of your video, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go back. This is going to be your video. Then you want to click on export on the bottom right. If you want to do a high resolution preview, you can also do that as well. But to export your video, you're simply going to click on export. Then you want to export the video to your downloads. So you're going to just click on export video and then you have YouTube export. So from here, you want to choose 1080p, no watermarks, and no InVideo AI branding. Now, these kinds of settings are the best for InVideo, especially if you're looking to use InVideo for content creation and you're not looking to just use it casually. So I do recommend that you upgrade to a plan. They start as low as $25. 
and video is available for free so you can choose to get started for free but if you're serious about in video and video creation and you want to publish videos without a watermark which is something that i highly recommend that you guys should do you should upgrade to a paid plan the plus plan starts at 25 dollars a month and if you choose to pay uh, yearly you can get started for as low as 20 dollars which includes 50 minutes of ai generation 40 i stock premium elements as well as 100 gigabytes of storage so i really think it's an amazing deal i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next video